Is it to be so simple, Sidora? Rudaka, my queen. No, not your queen. Not yet. Oh, of course. Formalities. You have something to say? Only that leaders are judged in time by the quality of their enemies. History teaches us this. The Toa? A fantastic adversary, my king. Worthy of your rule, and therefore a demise that will be remembered and spoken about for all time. I suppose I could allow the situation to become a little more... Legendary. I have always admired your judgment. Only be sure your method allows some proof for posterity's sake. Proof? Bring me there. returned, as you said they would. Even now, their broken bodies are being brought to me, so I may drain them of their elemental powers. Powers I will use to shatter the wretched seal that keeps us apart. And then there will be no need for a worthless ruler like Sidorak, who would wash his hands of conflict rather than dirty them with it. Together, you and I will teach the sleeping Matoran to obey your will. What is it? <laughs> the Toa? Why do you speak of them as if they're still alive? <laughs> To me. You are becoming. Yeah, but what? A friend. Or a foe. That's for you to decide. And why I've invited you here. Some invitation. Then perhaps this one will be more to your liking. I've a proposal for you. And if I don't want to hear it? Be reasonable, Vakama. How do you know my name? I know a great deal about you. What harm could come from listening? The Great Temple? Secrecy is such a burden, but Sidorak mustn't know we speak. Sidorak? Ruler of the Vizorak. And he doesn't know you've captured me? Not yet. <laughs> Some leader. Precisely. You're not worried they're going to tell him you said that? They are loyal to me. Right. Like you are to Sidorak? Yes. They obey me because I am strong. They fear me and therefore do not dare to question my authority. That is leadership, Fakama. That is how the other Toa should treat you. Maybe then they would give you the respect you deserve. The Vizorak Horde is countless, Vakama. 
They feel the weakness of their king's voice. I trust my fellow Toa to... To do what? Hold you back? They're not worthy of a leader like you. Which is why I've brought you here. was my whole world. It meant everything to me. It still does. It can be your home again, Vakama. To rule as you see fit. All you need to do is lead those who will obey you properly. Lead the Vizorak Horde. I... I don't know. I understand your reluctance. You require proof. Throw yourselves off the edge! <laughs> Obedience. This is but the first of many lessons I can teach you. And this is something your king would allow? There is a way. Six ways. I'm listening. Nothing to me. It did once. It can again. That's true. It can. If you want to be weak again. Never. You are everything I had hoped you'd be. Come. It's time you had a glimpse of your future. Soon be yours, Vakama. Go ahead, touch it. You can look, Vakama, but don't touch. I wanted to thank you personally. Because of you, the Rahaga will be put where they belong in a cage. It is just the beginning of what he can offer you. Is that so? It is, my king. Vakama is my gift to you. A fitting master for your horde. Hortika <laughs> or not, there's only one of him. Which is why the other Toa are on their way here. With Fakama leading your horde, they will be captured and trained just like him. Will all six be enough to please you? Hmm. A fine offer, Rudaka. Consider it an engagement gift. Huh. Well then. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to the horde. <sighs> You know, Vakama, we're really very much alike, you and I. That was a compliment, Vakama. Oh, thank you, my king. Uh, think nothing of it. Such is the generosity of my rule. My horde is an obedient one. They will do anything you command. Unless I command differently, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now then. Behold, the Viserac Hall. <laughs> Perhaps you 
like to say a few words? Before it is over, many things will change. Hmm. How is the Horde, Vakaman? Obedient. And ready. And then we were chased. Still that sound. doesn't exist. Obviously, you're wrong about that. <laughs> I'll take care of him. No, Vakama. It is not your place. It is that of a king. Um, if Kitongu wasn't a myth before, he soon will be. Stay here. Ready. Most impressed. So would make you feel better. It would. The final blow is yours, Rudaka. Where are you going? Finish him. You do it.
have something I want. Your elemental powers. Earth. Stone. Ice. Water. Fire already belongs to me. Wait. One's missing. That would be air! And he's all yours, my queen. Thank you, Vakama. Now, about those powers. You want them so bad? Take them! <laughs> <laughs> All right, who fired the tickle spinner? Fools, you, like your powers, are nothing if you are not united. And as Vakama stands with me. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. You might defeat me, Vakama, but not all of them. Strike me down and they will surely destroy you and your friends. Think about it. I have. And seeing as you convinced Sidorak to put me in charge of them... Get out of here! All of you! You're free! <laughs> That's an order. You can't betray someone you're enslaved to. And to think I thought you could be king. I lead only those that choose to follow. That's the difference between being a leader and a tyrant like you. A certain Toa taught me that. Thank <laughs> you.